bunge MCS uh, mwenyekiti wa Olpejeta Conservancy uh, bwana Philip Colson na kamati yako uh, na board ya directors wafanyikazi na wananchi wa hapa Laikipia Hamjambo Laikipia Hamjambo Asanteni sana Kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu ametupatia nafasi tumefika hapa Olbejeta katika sherehe hii ya muhimu ya miaka ishirini ya kazi ambayo imefanyika hapa katika conservancy hii kazi ambayo imetoa mchango mkubwa katika maendeleo ya sehemu hii mambo ya kilimo mambo ya utalii mambo ya conservation na yale ambayo yametendeka kati ya conservancy hii na jamii ya watu wa Laikipia wanaoishi katika sehemu hii and it is indeed a great celebration that today we are celebrating 20 years of all vegeta conservancy a conservancy that has stood out in the many aspects that they participate in today this conservancy is home to the largest herd of rhinos in our country we want to say to all vegeta conservancy congratulations today all vegeta is home to the only two remaining northern white rhinos in the world i am told one is called nagin another one is called fatu those two rhinos are indeed a pride to our nation and all vegeta we want to congratulate you on behalf of all the people of kenya for being the outstanding conservation that has chosen to be home to these two relics of what remains of the northern rhinos in the world as i told you earlier we are going to work with you the government of kenya is going to work with you to make sure that we don't lose the genetics of these two rhinos we're going to work together to see to it that whatever is required of you and us and others to make sure that we preserve this species of rhinos the government of kenya will play its role you have enumerated to us the many things that you are doing as a conservancy the combination of conservation agriculture and tourism that has made this conservancy different from others is indeed something that we are proud of and i am sure many more conservancies around kenya are going to learn from you as you have heard 70% of all our wildlife are not in our game reserves or in our um, other facilities as uh, public facilities they indeed are in conservancies and that is the reason why we took a deliberate decision as government responding to the reality that most of our wildlife are in conservancies it is the reason why we decided to spend public money to improve infrastructure in conservancies especially as was said by minister here in community conservancies because they deserve our support because they hold the highest numbers of wildlife in Kenya and therefore if we are serious about conservation if we mind about wildlife we must improve facilities whether it is water roads and other infrastructure that support wildlife in those areas i want to commit to all budget that um, what you're doing here you have the government of kenya's support it is our policy position 
that land fragmentation is a threat to food security is also a threat to wildlife. And it is the reason why, for example, we have a whole housing program in Kenya because a lot of agricultural land is being threatened by construction of houses and doing all manner of things. It is the reason why, for example, in Laikipia, we now have land to construct 4,000 units. As was said by governor here, we started the first uh, uh, block of uh, housing in Nanyuki. We are now, we have finalized the procurement of block of housing about 1,500 in Yahururu. We have another 2,000 housing units in Rumuruti because progressively we want to make sure that we avoid land fragmentation that is threatening land for our agriculture and also land for conservation. And therefore, you have our support as government in making sure that we use the land we have, whether it is for agriculture or for conservation, we use it sustainably. And that is why I agree also with you that the land we have under KWS, both in Ellen Downs and also in uh, the land we have in Mutara. I have already instructed the minister here to work with her colleagues so that we create an ecosystem for wildlife here that is not only going to assist us continue to do the great job that Olbecheta is doing. But now working with KWS and working with ADC, we can build a bigger ecosystem for wildlife, but also we can fence off some of these areas that are threatening local communities where they're increasing human wildlife conflict. I was here the other day to in Marmanet, we're trying to see how we can reduce that conflict by making sure that we fence off areas so that we avoid the human wildlife conflict. Again, I'm very confident that when finally we agree with ADC and all the other uh, facilities, we can then be able to protect our farmers, protect their crops, reduce human wildlife, life, human wildlife conflict, and also um, get better returns on the conservation that is going on in this region. I know you have many aspects of this conservation going on, and I know you are doing a very good job. But I say there is always room for improvement. I think we need to collectively think about how we can do three major things that I would want to suggest very uh, uh, respectfully to uh, Chairman here and your team. As you have heard, we have the best tourist product in Laikipia. And because we have the best tourist product in Laikipia, we must get premium and the best quality tourists into Laikipia. There are many backpackers, there are many people who roam around. They bring down our facilities and we don't get much money from them. I think we should avoid those people. We should tell them to go to other places. There are many places they can go. But for premium destination like Laikipia, we want to get top dollar for it. And even as we go for that top dollar, we must also agree on benefit sharing. These communities, and I'm very happy that you are invested in education. And thank you very much. You said something very profound, Chairman Colson. You said you paid 300 million in taxes. That is very patriotic. Because you paid that money, I was able to hire, to hire 750 teachers for the children of 
like Kipia County last year. And I'm going to hire another 300 teachers in January for Laikipia County. And we are putting more money in university education and TVED education. Because again, education is the best tool that we can use to sharpen our human capital. I want to commend you for what you are doing in supporting education and to encourage you to do more for the children of the community around here. Investing in education has a very high multiplier effect on outcomes. So we should be able to work together in that space. Number two, you're doing a wonderful job on breeding and the breeding technology that you're working on. I want to ask you to work with our Ministry of Livestock. We are also um, looking at what to do with CAGRI. We're trying to create partnership with the private sector to see how we can improve our breeding program so that we can get the best breed spot, both for beef and also for milk or dairy. So again, I would want to encourage you to enhance the partnership so that the skills you have built, the competencies you have built, we can share them with more Kenyans, starting with the people around uh, like Kipia um, uh, County. The third aspect is vaccination. I am very happy that you are supporting our vaccination program, vaccinating the um, uh, livestock of people around uh, like Kipia. I announced yesterday that in January, we will have a national vaccination program targeting 22 million cows and almost 55 million um, uh, goats and sheep nationally. I want to encourage you to work with us so that as we undertake that vaccination program, and I'm going to be asking the counties to work with us so that we can eliminate disease and improve the quality of our beef and the quality of our milk. Because if we reduce the disease load, either in our beef or in our milk, we make it premium and we can get better pay for our products. I also said yesterday that um, we need to see how we can reduce the losses that we incur of our livestock and unfortunately, even wildlife now, because of climate change. How do we improve the facilities available? We have identified as government 450 feedlotting uh, facilities around the country. And we want to work with you. I hope uh, all Becheta, for example, will provide an off-take plan. And I'm happy that you've said last year, or is it this year, you have bought 200 um, heads of livestock for offtake and for feedlotting. I want to encourage that we do more around feedlotting so that we assist the communities around in making sure that they get better prices for their livestock if we provide an offtake uh, program. Um, Again, we are discussing with the county governments on what we can do together on recovery of leather. We're losing close to 10 billion worth of leather every year. 40% of, 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 of all our hides and skins go to waste. Again, we're working with the private sector. I'm very happy. You say the Alfarama is already having a conversation with you our farmer is having a conversation with um, uh, Samburu County, and we are trying to create a partnership between the private sector and the public sector and farmers so that we can save on losses that we are making on our hides and skin and be able to use it to drive our own clothing and shoe industry. That is our target as a country. So, Nimefurai sana um, katika shughuli hiyo 
Nataka nimwambie pia e, viongozi wetu wa hapa la Ikipia e, tayari e, mapema mwaka ujao tunajua kuna wakulima wengi walipotesa mifuko yao kwa sababu ya kiangazi ilikuwa hapo mbeleni. Tumetoa pesa bilioni moja kama serikali ili kufanya restocking. Familia elfu kumi katika counties kumi na sita ikiwemo county ya Laikipia. Sasa nyinyi mtajipanga tunataka mu identify zile families na mtashirikiana na wizara yetu ambayo inahusiana na mambo ya mifugo the department of livestock ndio tujue ni wakulima kina nani walipata hasara kubwa ndio tuweze kuwasaidia katika program ya restocking ndio waweze eh, kujisimamia na waweze kupata mifugo ambayo wanaweza kujisaidia tukisonga mbele pamoja Najua kuna mambo mengi viongozi hawa wamesema. Mambo ya housing tunaendelea nayo, mambo ya masoko nitarudi hapa kwa mambo yenu ya masoko, nitarudi hapa kwa mambo yenu ya housing. E, tayari tumeanza kujenga soko kubwa pale na nyuki. Tumemaliza kandarasi ya kujenga soko kubwa kule Rumuruti. E, vile vile kule um, e, Nyahururu nitarudia kazi hiyo. E, saa hizi e, huyu ndugu yangu Alex Washira ameniarifu ya kwamba kuna mpango ya mambo ya stima watu elfu tatu ni, na mia saba kabla ya February next year tutakuwa tumewaunganishia stima tumeweka shilingi milioni mia tatu hamsini kwa hiyo program na tena tuko na phase 2 hiyo phase 2 ya FDB inaanza lini Washira Okay. On Monday mtamalizana. So kuanzia mapema mwaka ujao tunafanya rollout. Tunataka tena kuunganisha watu elfu tatu na mia saba mwaka ujao wala ekipi ya kaunti hii katika mambo ya stima. <laughs> na nishamwambia Alex vile tutashirikiana na nyinyi kama waheshimiwa wa bunge tusaidiane pamoja na nyinyi ndio mtu advice kumtuambie ni kijiji fulani hawajapata stima ni mahali fulani hawajapata stima ndio tuweze kuendesha hiyo mambo tukishirikiana pamoja na nyinyi vile vile tumekubaliana mambo ya matibabu tulisema pale mbeleni hatutaki mambo ya afya iwe ni starehe ya watu wanaojiweza tunataka mambo ya afya iwe ni haki ya kila mkenya kwa mara ya kwanza kila mkenya atakuwa na bima ya afya aidha utajilipia mwenyewe kama uko na uwezo na kama huna uwezo serikali ya Kenya itakulipia bima hiyo. Hatutaki tena mwananchi aende hospitalini. Alafu aambiwe ati wewe huna uwezo uko na ugonjwa wa kanza ama saratani ama hypertension ama diabetes unaambiwa wewe enda nyumbani ungojee kifo kwa sababu huna uwezo. We want to stop that. That is inhuman. Tumesema ya kwamba tukienda mbele katika taifa kea ambayo tumepangia vizuri tuko na sheria ya kutosha tuko na mpango ya kutosha na tutabadilisha Kenya hii kwa mapenzi ya Mungu mpaka kila mtu aende hospitali atibiwe aende nyumbani bila ya kulizwa pesa yoyote that is our commitment and that is our plan and we will deliver on it tumekubaliana vile vile kwa mambo ya eh, kuhakikisha ya kwamba wakati tunasonga mbele hivyo Tunataka watoto wetu wote wapate nafasi ya kusoma. Na nimefurahi hawa wangwana wa Olbejeta wanatusaidia. Vile nimetangaza hapa tumeweka eh, mpango kamili wa tumeajiri waalimu na mimi nataka nishukuru pia hapa Laikipia. Governor ame identify community health promoters elfu moja na fikiri mia moja na kitu. Na tunashirikiana yeye anawalipa pesa kiasi nusu mimi nalipa ingine nusu na tunashirikiana kwa sababu tumesema mambo ya kila kijiji lazima tuwe na mguzi pale na watusaidie pia katika registration ya wa Kenya ndio tupate tujue kila mkenya mahali anaishi ndio tuweze kupanga mambo yetu ya matibabu we can change the destiny of our nation by working together 
Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Laikipia kwa kutupokea hapa katika conservancy hii ya ya Olpejeta. E, tutashirikiana na watu wa KWS, tutasukuma watu ya ADC ndio tupange mambo ya conservancy ya sehemu hii, tupunguze human e, wildlife conflict na vile vile tuweke mambo ya conservancy mahali pazuri, mahali ambayo itafaidi hawa wananchi wote. And therefore I want to congratulate uh, all Bajeta, the board of management, the directors for your partnership, for your cooperation as we look at how we can do more with conservancy in the Republic of Kenya and how we can better use all our resources, agricultural, con um, in matters conservancy. And as we look into the future, I remember I told you, Bwana Chairman, that last week, we changed the regulations on carbon markets and carbon credits. Con this Laikipia is a big place for matters, carbon markets, and carbon credit. Now we have new legislation that is going to provide predictability, that is going to assist those involved in this space, and that is also going to assist local communities. Wale wananchi wa sehemu hii na wananchi ambao eh, ni wenyeji. Sasa kwa ile mapato ya carbon credit, sheria mpya ambayo tumeweka inasema asilimia arbaini ya mapato ya carbon credit iende kwa wananchi wa sehemu ile. So tutashirikiana hivyo. Eh, mutakuja kueleswa najua kuna watu wanashangai carbon credit ikoni maneno gani. Kuna pesa inapatikana dunia hii, pesa mingi. Kwa hii mambo nyasi yenu hii, kuna watu wanafanyia wanafanyia biashara hii nyasi yetu na miti yetu na watu hawajui. Na kuna watu wako na maustizi kubwa kubwa sasa tumepatana na wao. Tumewaambia hii pesa amwezi kula peke yenu all the time. Hii pesa lazima tugawane. Ama na magani. Nyinyi mmesikia hiyo mambo ya carbon credit? Eh? Mmesikia carbon market? Eh iko pesa mingi watu wengine wako na Kiingereza. Mingi wanakula wana, pesa yetu. Sasa tumeweka sheria ya kukamatana na hawa. So tutashirikiana hivyo na asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha na kutupokea hapa la ikipia. Um, uh, tumekamilisha sehemu hii na mimi nataka ni waulize viongozi wote, tushirikiane, tufanyi kazi pamoja, nje tuweze kutimiza hatma yetu kama taifa na pia tutekeleze yale mipango ambayo yatabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. Asanteni sana thank you again for giving me an opportunity to be part of this great ceremony and congratulations to all starting with the board, the communities around here, county government here and all the leaders na wananchi wote. Thank you very much and God bless you. Tumpongeze rais kwa hotuba yake. Tumpige